Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Look, right, so it's only a small percentage out there. Yeah, and that's why I sit here, and I used to be, I used to be super judgy about it, and I was, I was one of those girls who, like, I used to say I love climbing trees and stuff, and now I feel like I've met shorter men who have really great personalities, and there's nothing wrong with them. Um, just people frown upon them because of their height, and that's kind of jacked up. You know, uh, I know, man. I'm five five. I'm the short cane, though. So you like short canes now? I don't know if I love y'all, but I'm 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 not I'm not against. I told you. I'm five six and a half. Oh yeah, you taller than me. I'm actually five five. So I got it. Yeah, when you, when you sit up at a tall bar or something, your feet dangling. Yeah, yeah. You don't even look no gangster like that. You can't even threaten nobody. Like, bitch, I shoot this motherfucker. I shoot this motherfucker up right now. You play with me. Wing and you good as long as your feet ain't <laughs> you good you said what i said as long as you're not swinging them you fine my feet swing when i said tall bar I I <laughs> yeah my feet at the bar fourth the whole time yes my feet are swinging yes that's how short i am short guy that's a but it's cool though so i mean okay why you feel like females are more concerned about a bbl instead of their credit score who let me tell you because i got friends like that too <laughs> Um, a lot of women believe that if you get a BBL that you will get your bills paid and it will not be necessary to have a good credit score because you're going to make enough money to get the good credit score down the road. I know women that believe BBLs are an investment. Um, your credit score, however, is also an investment, but... Right. Would you get a BBL? I would not. Mm, why not um so i was which is really funny so i was really i really wanted to get one for a really long time like it was on my bucket list it was something i wanted to save for why, um, why did you want to get one um so and i actually it's so funny to have this conversation the other day so the reason i wanted to is because my perception of beauty of women was a certain picture and so i thought thought the only way to achieve that was to have a big butt too so you got it because you was insecure self-consciousness i think it was more of like i just thought that's what beauty your beauty our beauty standards were it wasn't that i thought i was ugly i just thought to be a picturesque woman i needed to have a big ass i just thought it's funny, it's funny women are willing to fix their ass but they're not willing to fix what's inside of them mm. yeah that's why and so I told, you know, it's funny. I told myself, I said, I'd wait till I was 30 years old before I got a BBL. And I said, if I still felt the same way about getting it, I would get it. You know women um, dying because of that, right? And, and it's uh, one of the most freaking dangerous things to get is from what I was told because of the artery that you're around. That's why I not I do not want one. Uh, for a long time, I did. I think, so I'm 20, what if I'm 28? I would say I'm 20. I'm going to be 29 next week. Um... When I turned 28, I kind of started having a different outlook on myself. And I was like, I don't really need all that. You thought a fat ass was going to help you get closer to your goals, your destiny? Exactly. It's not going to give me a husband, so. <laughs> it's not going to do You got to think about it. It's not going to give me a college degree. It's not going to put me in a different income bracket. And I, you know what? It could if I sit here and saw my morals and my ass. Um, but <laughs> I don't play on it. Yeah, because I'm trying to think, though, like, you can be pretty for a few years, but a good woman lasts for a lifetime, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. My husband to love me for my, the insides and the outsides, not just my outsides. Right, right. They're trying to, it's funny, women trying to get a BBL, but they only even got $5,000 in the bank account. What the heck? I'm try when I mean there's a lot of girls who feel like BBLs are an investment, I know plenty of women who have said that. When they credit score not even six fifty, they want a BBL. Holy shit! Because oh. I promise you, it, it is like in a business investment is how a lot of women see it, and for some women, it works out like whole like, and we see it every day. So it's like it's not as if it's like you know unrealistic to think that either. A lot of women believe that that is an investment, like a business investment. It's investing in an ass that's highly dangerous and it's going to get old and sloppy 
and there's a possibility you probably die from it down the line. Uh, do you feel like women got healing and hoeing mixed up? Um, so, and it's crazy because I think I was watching another podcast and they were just basically saying like, is to get over, is, is it better to get under somebody type of situation? And I feel like because people were, have said that for so long and in so many movies and so much, bad people think that that's the case. And I definitely don't. Um, I believe hoeing is a distraction. I believe that when you get your, when you go through a bad period in life where you're at that process of needing to heal, um, that a lot of women turn to the streets, like the, you know what I'm saying, go to, not like the streets, but you know what I'm saying, go to the streets or whatever, um, to find validation and get their, find, you know, their endorphins back up and see them differently than how they were before. I think people be worried to have sex so quick because they can get that euphoric feeling. Yeah, they can. Because them that, that dopamine in the back of your brain is hitting. That's the same chemicals you get when you do drugs. When you get that excited feeling, but you are more worse off than you was before. And when you have sex with a lot of these women, they feel like they're validated. They feel like they uh, they're like a notch under the belt. They feel like somebody wanting them because somebody's stick dicking them. But that's all they're getting is dick, dick and lies. They ain't even getting food half of them. Dick and lies. Uh, yeah, it's fucked up, right too. It's fucked up. For sure. Who, who, do you, who do you think to blame for the dating pool right now, the men or the women? Oh, it's both of us. I feel like it's a revolving circle of, like, heartbreak. So I break a man because I treat him like a trick or whatever. He's going to turn around and treat everyone after me that way. And I think it's vice versa for a woman. So a sweet girl meets a guy who treats her like S-H-I-T, and now she feels the need to be revengeful to every man after them. Because I know myself, I used to think that men didn't have feelings before because I got my heart broke. This is high school shit, though. But I got my heart broke, so I felt like, oh, y'all must not have feelings. And I treated y'all as such until somebody was like, what do you mean we don't have feelings? Like, of course we do. And I was like, what you mean? Like... But this is that was when I was a lot younger though, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's a lot of fucked up shit going on about that. Uh, a lot of women still got the high school mentality when it comes to dating, and they twenty five and twenty one and older with a high school mentality. Uh, it's very uh fucked up that mindset. Very mm-hmm. fucked. Up. They, they still got an immature mindset when it comes to it. Uh, do you feel like women make excuses for men that they don't like? That we don't like. What do yeah. you mean? That they. Make excuses and rules for a guy that they don't like. And they break the rules for the guy that they do like. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because like, you see, you'll see a cute boy and you'll probably be like, oh, well, how many kids does he have? <laughs> like, I guess I could deal with a few more, like, type of situation. Even though you, that went against the rules that you had prior to. Hey, it's always good. That's why I don't deal with women with rules. Oh, wait, no. mm. okay. That's why I tell guys don't deal with a woman with rules. Because like, they ain't put rules on everybody. You said what? I said I feel like guys are the same way too, though, when they see pretty girls. They'd be like, okay, well. Because I know plenty of my guy friends who would be like, they'd be like, oh, I didn't know she was crazy. I'd be like, no, nah, you knew she was crazy. You just thought she was a baddie. And so you kind of overseen the red flag. No. Nah. I, nah, I, I'm not. Uh, your car but, but this is my thing right here, though. If you can let a woman beauty manipulate you, you're the weakest man on the planet, bro. You got to have self control. You can't let your dickhead keep thinking for you. Stop thinking with your dick. That's the worst thing that's holding men back right now. If men would stop thinking with their dicks, they'd be so fucking powerful right now. There's no way you could get manipulated or played if you ain't thinking with your dick. It's gonna be hard for y'all. No, I'm joking. But some of y'all, y'all, y'all got it. So, if you feel like a female asks, asks a man to pay for like food or buy or something, you feel like she don't like him. Say that again. You feel like a female asks a guy to pay for her food or ask him to buy something, she don't like him. She doesn't like him. Yeah, she doesn't like him. She asks him to buy her food, to buy her food or pay for something. You feel like she don't like him. No. I mean, like, what do you, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, if you, like, like, a random, like a random guy, but if they're not in a relationship or whatever. 
You feel like when she asks him for food or buy him some, buy her something, you feel like she don't like him or dislike him? I feel like, I mean, I don't ask people to buy. I don't even know. That's hard. I know guy. I mean, I know girls who use guys they don't like for food. My point is that. So that's true. They do use guys, but they don't like. There is, yeah. There's plenty of girls who use guys for food. Can't use me. Hell to the fucking no. <laughs> Because the guy that she likes, she's not going to ask him for a damn dime. Because she likes him. She don't want to lose him. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of difficult. Why are you saying it's difficult? Are you part of the sisterhood code? You don't want to say nothing? That's what I'm not. I don't have. I don't go out with people I don't like, first off. Because that's stupid. Why are we wasting each other's time? I am. I'm too old to be playing. Um, And then. I'm trying to. I'm like literally trying to go in my brain right now and think have I ever asked a guy for food like I guess the ones that they just kind of feed me so you had guys just feed you food like if you like me most I know guys that bring you food yeah so you are you having sex with those guys no I don't have to have sex to get so, food if those guys actually bring food they should be able to actually keep up my dick no Why not? because Food is definitely not an exchange for sexual favors. Oh damn! Hell, no, fuck that! I ain't buying you shit. Better tell them dudes you fucking. I wish somebody would take me some shit like that. Can I get some food, J. Reed? Hell no! Better tell that man you fucking. I had a girl ask me that not too long ago, months ago, last year I think. I don't know when that was. She like, can you give me some food? I said, fuck no! Let's suck my dick. Hell wrong with you? Buy you some damn food. Better get out here and get some. Oh shit! So you like using suckers? Then you looking for suckers? You like suckers? No, I don't. Like, what in the hell? No. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, I got a good one. I got a couple more. Why would a woman want a man that earns six figures, great looks, and drive three supercars and own a big house and society respect that? But when a man wants a thin girl who stay at home and do nothing but take care of kids, society would call that mass toxic masculinity. So, I mean, I believe in gender roles, so I guess that's kind of hard. I don't look, I don't frown upon men who want stay at home moms. I definitely understand why you'd want one. Um, and I think we always want our partners to look good too. So, if you're obese, that means your health is not in good condition either. Right. In shape, so, we have to think of those things as well. Um, so I don't really be, I don't be down on men who do that. Mm. What, what's your thoughts on society, uh, these mothers blaming everything on the fathers and their mothers not taking any accountability for their role in the relationship? They say the fathers are the evil or the, the bad guys and the, the arch nemesis and the mothers are the sweet, innocent, coddly angels, which is a motherfucking lie. Uh, I was, why do you think that's portrayed out here? Y'all can Pick your own baby daddies, okay? You pick your own baby daddies. Y'all be sitting here finding these men who look like mamas, who never have bills, who never have responsibility, who are working low-income jobs, and then turn around and be like, he is an eight-shit-ass daddy. He wasn't a good person to himself. But you picked him because you thought he was good and he probably had a big one. Like, I will wholeheartedly, I do not support that, the movement when it comes to the baby mamas blaming the baby daddies. Now, there is, now do not get me wrong. Do I think every case is that way? No. There's a lot of sheep in wolf's clothing um, who make it seem as if it's one thing and then turn around and it's a whole nother thing. But for me, I feel like you pick your own baby daddies. And you pick your own baby mama too, but you pick your own baby daddies. So, do not get mad when he isn't the man that you thought he was because he wasn't that man to begin with. You be, and, and that's why we have so many, I feel like, kids who are, like, on welfare and everything like that also. Because we assumed somebody was going to do something and they didn't even do it for themselves. Should men date women who are uh, social media influencers? I don't see why you can't. So, they are... Only fans or strippers, it's okay for them to date me. Um, um, you have to be a different brand of person to be able to be accepting to her lifestyle. But if 
you're accepting to her lifestyle that doesn't bother you, then, you know, do you. Is it we are different things in this world. Mm. Right. You feel like it's attractive when a man get jealous? Of course. Well, it's, not, it's not when you're crazy jealous, like, I talked to the man at McDonald's and now you want to fight about it. Um, but I think, you know, like, we all just want our partners to be with us. So I guess it's kind of like, to what extent are you jealous? Right. What, what's I can't be jealous every time a man sees me. Like, you can't be wanting to fight. Like, you shouldn't have been with somebody who was cute or attractive. What, what, if you want somebody to never be looked at, then you should have got with somebody who no one was looking at. What's your uh, definition of an insecure man? Um, Getting mad at every time somebody looks at you. Like, you cannot help that. At all. And guys, we wanted to get with baddies or girls who are super attractive and can't handle the pressure of being with her. Like, you should have left her alone. I'm trying to figure out why are more women concerned about being a bad bitch or boss bitch instead of a good mother and a good wife oh. and getting their credit score right and being being leaders instead of followers. Why are they not concerned about that? I think it's kind of what you perceive. So I think a baddie is like somebody who is, you know, getting who who's focused on her bag, focused on her self health. You know, she's still out here slaying. I think it's kind of what your perception of is a baddie. So like, if I sit here and be like, "Oh, girl, you a baddie," like you're giving that energy. You're giving like, "I'm a boss." I'm giving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like mothers can be baddies too. No. You taking care. Of them and no, they're not. They're milks. Because she's cute. Because you're cute don't mean nothing. It's all cute is only last for it's plenty of girls are cute. There's a new girl turning cute at eighteen every day. You gotta be better than that. What else do you have to offer? Are you saying me or, or what? I'm just saying in general. Oh, okay. That's what I was like, I feel like you're not you're not a baddie if you don't got your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be cute as fuck, but you're, if you don't got your shit together, you're not a baddie. That's why I said I feel like it's kind of like what your perception of a baddie is. Right. Okay. Right. You know right. What I'm saying? Does mm -hmm. that make sense? I'm not gonna call it if I'd be like, Oh girl, you a bad bitch, like you're taking care of business. Like you're not out here depending on the world to pay your bills, you're doing what you have to do on your own. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. You do you have a back shot video on your phone? No. You ain't got no more sex videos on your phone? I do not. You do you? I don't have any because I don't take any. Mm -hmm. They say every girl usually got one back shot video or not. <laughs> and the dude be having a dad body too. A baby mama body with no child. Nah, I feel bad for those or, people. They got, or the guys got them in their phone. I don't, I know no recordings for me, buddy. <laughs> You ain't got real quiet on it, but I think you're capping on me right now. I think, I, I, I think you, uh, I think you're doing one on me. Okay, cool, cool. What's your, what's your thoughts on when they, when a female say I need a break? Is that hot? What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Mm. Why so? Because she's not invested. And they mm. say love something, let her go. So let her go. What is woman's liberation? You said what's women's liberation? Um, I feel like feeling that you don't have like society isn't telling you what to do. I feel like society's holding women back, and if so, from what? Um, you know, I don't feel like society's holding us back. I think we make it, it what what it is. So, is it holding some people back? Probably all women. No, for sure not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, I got a couple more then. Hold on. Is closure good in a relationship? Yes, yeah, you need it. How important it is. It helps close a. It, it helps men close the bridge. It helps your healing process begin. Yeah, you said it helps the healing process begin. Yeah. Mm. Not all 
closure is 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 rainbows and sunshines though. Oh real? <laughs> okay, okay. I got another one. They say generally, generally women treat men like a job. They are always open to a better one with higher pay and more benefits. Should men treat women like a car, lease them, trade it in for a newer model when the miles rack up, and the dashboard warning lights constantly nag them? No. No, not at all. Because we wouldn't, I don't feel like we should leave you just because, you know, you're struggling tomorrow or you have a dad bod this year. You feel like women only cause sexual harassment when the ugly guy wants them? Yeah, probably. But, yeah, probably. Okay, stereotype of truth. Girls with too many tattoos are impulsive, attention-seeking, and emotionally unstable at best, and self-destructive, dysfunctional, low self-worth, and borderline personality disorder at worst. That's a hell of a, of a summary of a person with tattoos. I feel like it's a case-by-case. Case-by-case. I don't have a whole lot of tattoos. Um, I do know people who have a lot of tattoos who are perfectly normal. I know people who have a lot of tattoos who need to get their shit together. Mm. Case by case. Are you, are you submissive or dominant? Submissive. Why well, is that a rich man can change a poor woman's life, but a rich man, but a rich woman can't will, will look a poor man's way, but a rich woman will look at a poor man's direction? Mm. So, I was watching a podcast. <laughs> we love podcast. I love podcasts. I ain't gonna lie to you. You need to make sure you watch mine. I really, do. I will, I will, I really do. I really do love podcasts. I'm not gonna lie. Since the whole dating situation, like I, my aspect on a lot of stuff has really been like broadened. Um, when it comes to like men and stuff like that, and this is from a man, so I don't even want to hear no hate speech or anything. This is from a man dating a broke man will emotionally hurt you because these men who are not in a financial and i'm not saying like i'm i'm just saying a initial broke man i'm not saying these are all i always say everything case by case but this is his broad perspective of the situation was dating a broke man his mindset is not there his mindset is not focused on being in a relationship and doing so is is not going to help you in the long run um me and how i see things based off of my previous and stuff like that dating a broke man you can see like he treats you a lot different than a man who has his shit together okay but it's a broke man be slaying the best dick though that's why females want um i also feel like they have a point to prove so i think that's why we think that mm. He has to, I feel like, and I don't, I, I don't know if that's what they think in their heads, but my assumption is they feel like they have to bring such good of this because they can't provide the other. Mm. You ever, you ever fucked a broke man? No, I don't believe in it. Okay. You want to give everybody 360? Let's see the cheeks. Let's see the cheeks. Can it clap? Can it clap? I'm not that girl oh i'm a good girl but I, i'll show you some just because it's dressed up and show and, and, and out here it, it's sitting out there. it's sitting right though it looks soft it's something slight sounds like <laughs> you got any questions you want to ask me before i let you go no i think we're good this was awesome this is my first like podcast experience i keep on saying i want to do one one day so it was awesome. Hey, appreciate you. If you have questions, you can always bang my line. Hey, man. Appreciate you. Thanks for showing love, though. Peace. All right, so we got you.